Hi there, my name is Vladimir Uspensky and today we'll talk about three finger chords. If you haven't seen the first part, I recommend to do it because today we'll talk about things based on the first part, okay? So, this is the second part and uh, last time we were talking about these kind of movements. Today we we'll also will talk about those movements, but we'll move to these strings. Let's take, for example, C, C major, C7. So if we are doing blues like we were doing in the first part, so we have usually we have first for four bars and then fourth for four bars. So oh wait, for two bars. So uh, it's C four bars and then F four bars but in more modern blues we have C F C and only then we have F okay so we can use those moment movements that we were talking in the first part the same ones if we start from five from fifth string it's our bass now so we are here and this one is Do7, the same one, but only three fingers, okay? First step, seventh step, and here terze, third step. Now we go this one. This bass goes up, to one, one tone up, this one stays on the same position, and this one moves up here, so it's this chord, but we play only three, three sounds. Then we have this one, it's this diminished, but only th with three sounds. We have and now this one, it's the same like this one, but one tone higher. And now we we, we already played for four quarters, so we come here to F. That's great, that was our idea. And now if we go back, and we will try to use the same movement like we were using here, when we were talking about six strings. From the first part of our lesson. Uh, so we will try to do the same. It will be here. This is F7. So we play it like this with three fingers. And this is also F7, how it goes. Like this one. So we have this third. We have this seventh here because we our idea is to move back with bass also, yeah? So it's now it's temporary first. We are in this fa, fa F, F major. So it this one is first temporary, this is seventh temporary, so we go like this. Then here to fifth of fa, F major. And then we go here and this one will it's our introduction to this Do that will go after F. To this uh, C, I mean. So this is this we have F F F. So this is first step of F, seventh step of F, fifth step of F, and this is already uh, preparation for the next one for this for C. So we want to have this. Now we should have something like this, but F. I think this. No, I don't like this one. So let's let's try. Uh, we need some F here. Um, maybe it's this one. Not so bad. But ah, I think we if if we do this maybe. No, this 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 one. yeah F seven. So it it will be yeah. That's it. 
What's that? It's it's F7. Just this one, this one, and this. In F, th those ones are fifth, third, and seventh. So it's. And then we go to this one that is introduction to C. So it's exactly the same the same chord like we will play here, but half tone lower. So we have the same movement already. Let's watch uh, this part again. Let's play it together slowly. Yeah, this one I, I don't use now. Um, that's great. Let's play it uh, like this. T twice, each chord twice. Ah, it's wrong, sorry. <laughs> Sounds super cool. So we can use now we can use it. Where? Let's let's combine, let's take both this movement from the first lesson and this one from this lesson. And let's try to find where we can play. Definitely in, in the blues, when we have movement from first to fourth, when we have movement from fourth to first, or if we have for example blues in C major, in C. So we have G like fifth, and we can go from G to C, and then we can go to fourth to F. Um, but any in any uh, song that has fifth dominant and then first tonica, and that almost all the songs uh, has, has have this part. So you can use this movement. So if, if this is dom C major and we have so it's first first fifth first we can do this movement let's play like here yeah and we can if we have some uh, situation not the blues one because in blues you can do it really a lot but we will talk about blues today a little bit later okay uh, let's say sweet georgia brown one of the famous jazz standards we can do there it for all the time because there is qua quarto quinto this circle of fourth and fifths and we can do this, like, let's say... So we have those movements, we can do them like this, uh, like this, I mean, or like this. So I mean fast, like twice each chord, or once for each chord. Uh, and we can do this, for example, from F. To C to C bemol this movement like here, but we can also do it like here. So could be um, and we can so we we can start here or start here, and then this movement will bring us to uh, C uh, to B flat. Okay, so let's say. Or let's say like this. So we 
have all used all our stuff. Okay, that that was Sweet George Brown, and there are much more, m m really many songs where you can find use for this this movement where, where you can use it, and it would be so cool. All those <laughs> movements, and now uh, I th I think you, you got it. If you haven't, write me some comments that you need more one more uh, episode for, for these three finger chords. But now let's finish this lesson with a very interesting example. This is blues, but let's say it's student blues, okay? It's not real thing. We just will train. Because before we start, we uh, will make some rules, yeah? First of all, we will use only three finger chords, yeah? This one and this one. And uh, for the first level of, of these blues, for the, f like when we just study it for the first time, we'll use only these two, uh, posi pos not positions, but only these two figures. We will not do any, no minor chords or whatever, only seven chords, this one or, and this one. So we can move like here and or here. Not, nothing more. But we can do this movement, like we were talking before. But we don't use any kind of minor chords, okay? So, first of all, we start with these uh, two chords. No movements like this. That would be the basic thing. That's the first rule, three finger chords only. Then uh, we do no, not more than three quarters for each chord, so we cannot stay here for one bar. We just, we should to change something. And uh, we should play the first step of the chord for the first quarter. That, that, that is the last rule, so three rules, three fingers, three finger chords. Uh, don't stay on one chord more than three quarters and play the first on the first quarter. First step on the first quarter. Okay, so let's try to do that. So it will sound like this. It's modern blues, if we take a look to the changes to the harmony, let's say it's first one bar, then fourth one bar, then first and first again, then fourth, then fourth or this one, fourth sharp diminished. But let's start from this fourth, fourth, twice, two bars, and then first one bar, sixth one bar, uh, second one bar and fifth dominant one bar and then turn around so let's do it one more time and I cannot play this for four quarters for the whole bar so I have to change something and I choose this chord to move here it's like preparation to this one or I can do this maybe so instead of prepare to this one, I can move out and move back in this first G and then go to C or like this. So let's do different variants and you have to find uh, using those three rules, so only three finger chords, uh, always not more than three quarters uh, of the same chord and you should play for the first quarter of the for the first beat of the bar. You should play the exact chord that, that uh, goes there, not 
any any different one any changes so let's go a few examples i will do in we are playing now it's uh, this one in g okay <laughs> You have seen in the last one I've used a little bit of comping. Let's do next video. Let's do about comping. I think that's a cool thing. Yeah. So uh, these blues, I hope you uh, you've got the idea. So you you play different uh, combinations, but according to to these rules, you have to do those some, some sometimes to search for for a cool variant, for a cool way to go from one chord to another. And for example, here, from, from the second one, we can go to the fifth one, also with our movement, yeah? So, so we, if we uh, have already, already seven bars, number seven and eight, let's say, and here we can go in, in this one, we can go and then to the first one. Yeah, let's play it one, one more time. So it's bar number seven. That was already not three finger chords. Okay, I hope you like this lesson and please subscribe to my channel, share my videos and find me on different socials. All the links are in this description. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.